what's up YouTube hey I wasn't planning on doing a video today at least not right now I just left the bank I had to go to the credit union and um, and when I came back I was checking uh, my phone as I sat here in my car as I got in the car and um, uh, I had a viewer a subscriber leave a comment on my channel and uh, I just wanted to share it because it was inspirational about UPS and his journey so um, the position that I was talking about yesterday is called feeder driver it's where you drive the 18 wheelers the big rigs that's just what they're called feeder drivers I don't know why that's the name but feeder driver is somebody who's got a class A driver's license and can drive the big rigs now if you're a package truck driver you drive the brown trucks you deliver and pick up packages everybody knows UPS by those brown uniforms and um, those big brown trucks that drop off packages and you sign for stuff electronically on their little device that's your typical UPS driver depending on what hub you're at there's a wait time based upon seniority anywhere from two to three years sometimes four years sometimes five years sometimes more it just depends but because there's been some expansion in the company meaning more more hubs have been built more demand there's more online shopping there's more Amazon's packages because we process Amazon packages as well as FedEx packages as well as US Postal and, and UPS we, pro we process a lot of different things um, <clears throat> <clears throat> so we're in, we're in demand there's a demand at the company for feeder drivers at the moment the class A 18 wheeler drivers so much so that even though you have to get hired through UPS you know apply get hired and then and then work inside the hub as a package handler for a couple years or three years or whatever um, and then apply to be, you know, you put in your paperwork request to go for driver's training, which takes two weeks. I found out it's two weeks long. You roll around with, roll around with an instructor and then make sure you know how to go left, right, back up, reverse, you know, uh, how to handle all the situations that you're going to encounter. And then you're on probation. And it, typically you are a package handler for a couple of years or a year and a half, two years, typically, at least, sometimes more than that. And then you become the package truck, uh, tr truck driver. Then if you want to become a feeder driver, which is the 18 wheeler stuff, a lot of times the senior package truck drivers will apply to be a feeder driver because they get paid more money. Um, and they're, maybe they're getting close to retirement age, like they're in their 50s. And they're like, you know what, I'm only going to be working here for another six, seven years. Let me just close out strong by being a feeder truck driver and driving 18 wheelers and not having to deal with customers and dropping off packages you know making 200 stops a day instead of that when you're the 18 wheeler driver you you have a fully loaded trailer and you just take it to Arizona drop it off and then pick up something from there and bring it back stuff like that that's what feeder drivers typically do they do other things too I don't know all the things they do because I'm not a feeder driver so I'm telling you what I see and what I know but you're on long hauls you're going like long distance you're going state to state or you're going within your state like I'm in Southern California so maybe they will give me if I was a feeder driver a haul to go up to San Francisco and back or San Diego and back or maybe go to Vegas and back Las Vegas or Phoenix Arizona and back I'm sure that they go further like from here they may even go uh, coast to coast I don't know <clears throat> from here to New York and back and they have a they have a unique schedule they're not like typical schedules like Monday through Friday like most of us like I'm Monday through Friday I have a set schedule uh, Twilight sort starts typically at 5 and goes until 11 that's my sort right they don't operate that way and they mostly work at night so if you're a night owl like you want to work graveyard basically feeder driver may be for you they, they'll start late at night, 8.30 at night, 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. And then they get when they get in, then they'll drive all night to their location, drop off, pick up, whatever. And then I don't know how they do the sleep schedule and overtime. I don't know how all that works. But they get paid really good. Typically, from what I see here, it's 43 bucks an hour 
whereas that's the the rate for a feeder driver which is really good but the regular package truck drivers their premium pay is $39 an hour so you can see there's a difference 39 40 41 42 43 so feeder truck drivers get four dollars more an hour which is a lot of money your your annual base salary even if you're just doing eight hours a day is really really good i'm looking i see one right now matter of fact i see them on the road all the time the 18 wheelers i'm passing one on my left you can't see it but there's one right over there um 18 wheeler driver feeder truck driver so <clears throat> there is i'm doing the uh i mentioned it yesterday i'm doing the uh, driver helper training I already put in for it and I think I start in October uh, and then it goes until January so it's gonna be like two months long or so roughly two two and a half months of eight hours a day it's like it's a full so it's a full-time schedule which I like getting paid every Friday which I, I could really use that extra money and you get a dollar more an hour it really helps me because I'm only working one job right now. I had to get let go of the other job because it was just too much. It was hurting me physically. I couldn't do it. It was brutal to, to, to do the both. And I said, you know, I know UPS is a great company, great career, and I like the benefits and the pension and the medical. And, you know, I can't say enough about all that kind of stuff. It's one of the few companies left that still does that kind of stuff. Police departments, fire departments, LA County workers, LA city workers, or wherever you're at, what city and state you're at, state worker. Um, you know, there's certain jobs that are just hang on to them. You know, UPS, I, I consider into that category. UPS, police, fire, um, county jobs, city jobs, state jobs. If you're a nurse, doctor, lawyer, hang on, hang on to those type of jobs, right? All right, so uh, a man commented on my channel today, and I want to respond to him because I would appreciate his comment a lot. He's 21 years old, and he's a feeder truck driver. So... His story is he started at age 18 with UPS as a package handler, probably like me, like most people start off that way. That's just typical. You're in the hub, you're either loading, uh, you're a loader or you're an unloader, you work bulk. There's all these different things, right? So typically you're gonna have to earn your wings at UPS. You have to uh, prove yourself. It's just the military's like that. A lot of places are like that. Police departments are like that. You're a rookie, you know, your rookie year football teams there's a lot of places that are like that and I like that kind of environment where you have to show up bust your hump a little bit prove yourself a little bit and then because you've weathered the storm then there's benefits past that like hey man you've been here a year you have no incidents your behavior is good your attendance is good you sweated it out you worked you didn't complain you showed up on time you you hustled now here's the reward you can become a driver or whatever you know wherever you're at there's, there's those types of places that you earn your you earn your your way through and you feel good about how hard it was to get there and there's a reward for the hard work ups is kind of like that one of those types of places so this this uh this guy this gentleman that messaged me today awesome awesome dude said he started as an 18 wheeler or as a package handler you know in, in a hub i'm not sure where he lives and at age 18 it's like his first job out of high school right and UPS is no joke. You're in there sweating and moving and losing weight and moving boxes and showing up for your shift and it's only five hours or five and a half hours and Monday through Friday and maybe you go to school too and maybe you have another job or you have family, husband, wife, kids, that kind of stuff. So you're just doing your thing and time is marching on. I've been there almost three months now. It'll be three months uh, in two weeks. So my, I, you know, my probation is done this Friday, which is tomorrow. That's past my 70 days, so I got, you know, made the probation. So he said that three years it took him to become a driver because you can't drive at UPS unless you're 21 years or, or older. So he started at age 18. He didn't even have his California driver's license. And then 21, age 21, I don't know when he got his license, his California driver's license, but even if you get your driver's license at 18 or 19, it doesn't matter. You can drive a car because you're legally, you know, 18 and over. You could drive a car <clears throat> if you have a license. But the Class A license, which is the tractor trailer, they'll train you for that at UPS at whatever hub you're at if there's an available spot and nobody wants it and seniority based. So he got it. I don't know where he works out of, but <clears throat> age 21, three years in, he gets his Class A uh, tractor trailer uh, training. And he's never looked back. He said... 
like he's been doing it ever since averaging anywhere from what his words were in the comments you guys can probably read the comments it's between 70,000 to upwards of plus 100,000 plus so over 100,000 uh, a year at a tw as a 21 year old man 21 year old man I was in the Marine Corps at that time I was earning maybe 8,000 a year around there 9,000 because I was not getting paid well back when I was in the Marines because it was a long time ago it's 30 years ago and the pay was not what it is now now the pay is really good in the military Army Navy Air Force Marines Space Force whatever the pay is a lot better back then I was getting like 300 bucks 350 maybe every two weeks <laughs> 350 bucks every two weeks but I lived in the barracks you have chow hall you eat you can eat every day you know they three squares and you got three hots in a cot and you go train and blow stuff up and when you're out when you're out there training you're not really spending any money because you're out in the woods or in the desert so your money's sitting there in the bank you come back you're like wow i got two paychecks in the bank i got 600 700 bucks because 350 every two weeks is about what we got 700 dollars <laughs> because you're on the field for a whole month come back you got two paychecks you just sweat it out grinding it out for 30 days hot getting yelled at throwing stuff grenades blowing stuff up shooting artillery staying up until one or two in the morning going on patrols shooting machine guns and dealing with all that crazy stuff of the marine corps which i loved but it was hard work and then in a month i made 700 bucks <laughs> anyways i'll get off that tip bottom line i appreciate this guy's comment he's making over a hundred grand or about a hundred grand a year at age 21 driving these big rig trucks that's a heavy responsibility so good job on him i can't think of his name but you'll see it in the comments and i appreciate all the comments if you work at ups chime in man i'll share your story if you want me to if you don't i won't but i try to show respect to everybody but i appreciate all the all the comments man you guys are awesome i'm over 300 subscribers right now which I don't get any money from YouTube for that. I just like sharing my stories about how I can help people to get a job at UPS or how to be positive about it when you do get a job there because it's not easy. It's not for everybody. It's hard. And so I'm just making a lot of videos about UPS because I'm going through it as a journey. And if you're going through it as a journey, maybe I can say something that will motivate you. But the things that I heard today motivated me. Like this, this I say this kid, he's a grown man, 21 years old doing his thing man feeder driver so look into that if you work at UPS stick it out do your time grind it out sweat it out overcome the negative with your positive mentality and your positive attitude and you're gonna be fine it's hot I gotta go to Starbucks charge up some some of my devices and use their Wi-Fi and um, uh, get a cup of coffee or something meantime it is Thursday and it is uh, one o'clock in the afternoon I go in tonight at six so I got a couple hours to chill and to, to kill and I need to charge up some my phone and some other stuff. So that being said, thanks for watching. Sorry that videos always tend to go longer than I want them to. I try to make them five minutes and six minutes and seven minutes. They always go to 10 minutes and 12 minutes and 15 minutes. Bottom line, thank you guys for watching. You guys are the bomb.com. Staff Sergeant Calhoun from Starbucks. I'm pulling in. Ouch.